In this video, we will install and test the MCMP code, version 6.2, developed at Los Alamos National Laboratory on a computer running Microsoft Windows. This software is generally obtained from the Radiation Safety Information Computational Center, also known as RSIC, at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. I am using Microsoft Windows 10, but the steps should be the same for other recent versions of 64-bit Windows operating systems. We first insert disk 1 from RSIC into our DVD drive, Open Windows Explorer, navigate into the Disk 1 directory, and open the How to Install HTML file in our web browser. Next, we follow the link to the installation instructions at the top of the page. We will be following the steps in this file, and we also go beyond these steps by installing the Xming application, ensuring that it is configured correctly, and showing how to run a quick calculation and look at geometry. One should certainly read and follow all of these instructions, but I'll begin by scrolling down to step one. We start by making a directory in our hard drive in a location that we have write permissions for and copying the files and directories from the DVD to it. In my case, this directory is C colon backslash MCNP62. As such, we make the directory and continue to step two. First, we go back to the DVD's disk one directory, select all files and directories within it, copy them, and navigate back to c colon backslash mcnp62 and paste what we have copied. This copying process will take some time. Next, we repeat the process for disk 2 by ejecting disk 1, inserting disk 2, navigating to it, selecting the more data directory on it, copying the directory, and pasting it into the c colon backslash mcnp62 directory. As before, this copying process will take some time. Finally, we repeat the process for disk 3 by ejecting disk 2, inserting disk 3, navigating to it, selecting the more data directory on it, copying the directory, and pasting it into the c colon backslash mcnp62 directory. Again, this copying process will take some time. At this point, what we have on our hard drive should look like what is listed in the web page we're viewing. If so, we're ready to proceed to step 3. However, to avoid copying everything again in case the installation fails, this is an excellent time to copy the entire MCNP62 directory to a temporary backup directory like c colon backslash mcnp62 underscore backup. Taking this approach alongside the typical installation process should require no more than 75 gigabytes of free hard drive space. Now, we continue to step 3. We open a command prompt window found by searching for CMD. Once the command prompt is open, navigate to the C colon backslash MCNP62 directory, such as using the CD or change directory command. We then run the installation script by typing install underscore 620 dot bat and pressing the enter key. This is an excellent time to take a short walk get a coffee, or something else. It is best to not otherwise use the computer during this time to avoid interfering with the installation. Now, we close the command prompt window, which satisfies step 4, and we move to step 5. On the desktop, we double-click on the square blue MCMP 6.2 icon, which launches a new command window that is configured to run the MCMP code. Next, we navigate to the c colon backslash MCMP 6.2 directory, and run the installation tests by typing install underscore 620 dot bat space test and pressing the enter key. This will again take a while, but the computer can be used for other tasks as long as this window is not closed. When the installation tests are done, we should see results like those shown, with no differences found. If there are differences found, that may be acceptable, but it is up to you to examine the differences to understand whether they are significant indicating an error, or insignificant, suggesting numerical round-off differences. These differences are rare, but not unheard of. We have now successfully installed the MCNP code and performed typical installation testing. Next, we will do a couple tests usually performed at the outset of each MCNP class that is taught by Los Alamos National Laboratory. Before we begin, we will install the Xming software to let us use the X11-based geometry, tally, and cross-section plotter that comes with MCNP 
To install Xming, we search for Xming on Google, navigate to the SourceForge website that hosts it, click the large green download button, wait, and then download the software. We can now leave the SourceForge website. Once Xming is downloaded, click on the installer to launch it. We do not require administrative access to install Xming if we change a few settings. First, change the installation path to a directory that you have permission to write to, such as c colon backslash Xming. Click Next. Now, uncheck the top three checkboxes and don't install an SSH client. Click Next. Keep the proposed Start Menu folder and click Next. Select Create a Desktop icon for Xming and click Next. Click Install. Finally, click Finish. Looking in the system tray in the lower right hand corner near the clock, we can see Xming's black X icon, and if we mouse over it, we see the server's details. This must be running to use the MCNP 6.2 X11 plotter. To enable our testing, we need an MCNP input file and a place to run our calculation. Make a new directory for MCNP calculations at c colon backslash work. We'll use a model of the Godiva Critical Assembly, which is a roughly 8.7 centimeter radius sphere of highly enriched uranium. We can download the file from the MCNP website, where the hyperlink we use is in this video's description. Download the file to our c colon backslash work directory. Finally, launch the MCNP 6.2 command window by double clicking the square blue icon on the desktop. Navigate to c colon backslash work. First, we'll run the calculation. To do this, we type MCNP 6 space i equals space g1.txt and press enter. The calculation will run and we should see a k eigenvalue result of approximately 1. This means we successfully processed the input, read and processed the necessary nuclear data, and performed particle transport and recorded the results. Next, we'll plot the geometry to test the X11 interactive plotter. To do this, we type MCNP6 space IP space I equals space G1.txt and press enter. A window will come up prompting us to click here for default plot. Do so. The magenta circle represents a cross-sectional view of the Godiva sphere. Note that if we resize the window, it will appear blank. If this happens, click in the upper left, in a region about the size of a postage stamp, and a hidden button here will force the window to redraw. We are now done with our supplemental testing. What we have observed along the way is considered success. As such, this configuration is ready for use in production or in an MCNP class. More information on the MCMP code, its classes, a support forum, references, and other resources are available on the MCMP website at mcnp.lanl.gov.